Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel. I'm Sarah, a Canadian that's been living in Croatia for the past nine years. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about why we're choosing to live in Croatia over Canada because some people think we're crazy. Um, I get it all the time. Everyone's leaving Croatia. Everyone's going to Canada, to Ireland, outside of the country. Why are you coming here? Uh, people ask us that all the time. And so hopefully this video will kind of just give an insight as to why we are choosing to live in Croatia over Canada. I also just want to note that these are my own opinions uh, based on my own experiences. And so I'm sure there are going to be people that disagree with some things that I say, um, but I just wanted to share my own experiences to let you know why we love living here and why we're still living here after all these years. So just a little background to start. Um, we had been living in Canada for two years together, and then we decided to move back to Zagreb, where we originally met years before that. We thought that maybe the lifestyle in Toronto didn't really suit us as much as the lifestyle in Zagreb did, so we thought we'd just give it a try. And if it didn't work and we didn't like it, we could always move back. So we thought, let's go for it. Um, so we packed our bags, we came over here, no jobs. Um, I found a job as an English teacher making about 2,500 kunas a month, which is about 500 Canadian dollars. Even found a job as a law trainee in a law office because before he came to Canada, he finished his law degree. Um, and he was making 4,500 kunas a month, which is about 900 Canadian dollars. So together we were making about 7,000 kunas, which is about 1,400 Canadian dollars. So moving over here was definitely a step back in terms of salary, um, but we thought that it would be a step up in terms of lifestyle and kind of quality of life. So that's kind of what motivated our decision to move over here um, rather than stay back in Toronto. I feel like sometimes Croatians don't always see all of the positives of living here. Um, they just kind of see life somewhere else outside of Croatia as better. And sometimes when you hear a foreigner's perspective of your own country, it can kind of let you see a different side to the country you live in. Um, so I think that living here is great and I think the quality of life here is very nice. One reason we're here is definitely because our business is here. We started our business about five or six years ago. It's based in Croatian tourism. We have a travel agency. It started out as a hobby, um, and then as it got busier and busier, eventually it became our main job, and we really love doing that. Uh, if we were to live back in Toronto, I'm sure we would be working other office jobs, and um, we just love having the flexibility um, and the freedom of kind of having our own business going on over here. I feel like Croatia is a very safe and very peaceful country and that's definitely a huge plus about living here. Not that Canada is unsafe, but I just feel even safer here in Croatia. Um, so that's a big, big plus, especially raising kids here. I feel like it's a great place to do that just because it feels so safe. We go everywhere with them and I just feel like I can be a bit freer with them when we're out and about than I could be in Canada. There's a very, very low violent crime rate um, and we live in Zagreb, the capital, and I just feel like it's an extremely safe city to live in. One other thing that I really like about the lifestyle here is that it's not all about work. Yes, people work here, they work very hard here, but they just don't overwork themselves to the extent that people do back in Canada, in my opinion. Um, I feel like they just value their free time, their time outside of work, a little more maybe than people back in Canada. So I appreciate that about living here. I get the sense back home that it's more like the more you work, the better, the more you work, the better. If you tell someone back home that you're working 100 hour weeks without anything else, um, that would be kind of considered a positive thing. And if you tell someone here that you work 100 hours a week without doing anything else, they would say like, well, why would you do that? Back home, I feel like People are very wrapped up in work and it takes over their evenings and even their weekends sometimes. And that's just not a very balanced lifestyle in my opinion. So that mentality is a little bit different here and you can feel that and I think that that's a positive thing. People just have more balance here than people have back home in my opinion. Um, yes, there are people back home that have great balance and there are people here that don't have any balance at all, but I feel like in general, Croatians have more of a work-life balance than people back in Canada have. And I really appreciate that people value that balance because I value that balance too. One incredible, amazing thing about living here is just being so close to the sea. 
The Adriatic Sea is one of the most beautiful bodies of water in the world. It is so gorgeous. Um, we just hopped over here for the weekend. We live in Zagreb, but now we're on Hvar, and it's just incredible here. Um, the water is so blue, so clear, so clean. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful body of water. So being so close to the sea that we can just hop over here is an amazing thing about living in Croatia. So speaking of just hopping over here to the sea for the weekend, um, there are also just so many other landscapes in such a short area of space. Um, you can see the mountains, the lakes, rivers, um, of course the sea. There's just so much to see in such a small amount of space that you can go explore relatively easily. And back in Canada, we didn't take trips nearly as much just because there isn't as much to see in such a short amount of time. Um, you have to drive hours and hours to get somewhere that's kind of, I don't know, unique or different. And here it's just a bit quicker and easier to go exploring because I feel like things are just a little bit closer together. So um, that's another plus of living here. We're able to travel a little bit more, um, take trips, weekend trips, and it just feels more doable um, in Croatia than it does in Canada. I mean, just this trip that we're on right now, for example, we decided this the night before. Let's go to the coast tomorrow. We packed up our car, uh, left the next morning, and it was just a last minute decision. And um, again, we were able to do that just because nothing is too far away. Walking culture. I feel like here, um, everything is more walkable. And cities are kind of divided up into little neighborhoods and each neighborhood has its own little school. And like these neighborhoods are small, um, but each neighborhood has its own school, daycare, doctor's offices, um, grocery stores, of course, pharmacies, really everything that you would need in like day-to-day -day life is there in your own little neighborhood. So it's pretty much walkable. Um, and that is an amazing thing. So kind of all of your errands that you might have to run, you can do it all by walking and that is a wonderful wonderful thing um, because back in North America especially in the suburbs um, it's very much a driving culture you drive everywhere it's in and out of the car in and out of the car in and out of the car all day long it seems and so just not having that extra added stress getting in and out of the car rushing here rushing there it just makes the quality of life I think better here um, I don't love sitting in a car all day and so for me being able to walk to drop the kids off at daycare school to go to the grocery store um, to run other errands is incredible we don't live right in the city we live a little bit outside of the city but we still live in a neighborhood that has all of that stuff that's walkable um, so yes people still do drive to work here um, but everything else outside of work generally is walkable if you live in some kind of city area and yes, so even though people do drive to work, the traffic here is just so much less than it is back home. There's just always traffic back in the greater Toronto area, at least where we live, uh, where we did live. Um, and so just being in traffic wherever you go all day long um, is not a fun thing to do. I think traffic is stressful and chaotic. And so to avoid that traffic in out every day um, huge commutes that's another thing commutes are so much longer in Canada than they are in Croatia if you drive to work here um, it's likely your commute is uh, maybe maybe half an hour um, but not much longer than that and in Canada your commute is at least double that it is not uncommon for people to travel one one and a half two hours to work and then the same back again and for me, that is just too much. It's just um, an added level of chaos to your day that I'm glad we don't have. Another point is climate. Um, the climate here is just so much more mild than it is back in Canada. Yes, we get winters here, but they're just not as extreme. And just the fall lasts longer, the spring comes earlier and I just love the climate here. It is now the end of September and we are at the coast on this little trip that we took and we've been swimming in the sea almost every day. It is beautiful weather here. Um, high 20s, it's been sunny and I just really love that winter is a bit shorter 
and a bit more mild and summer is just absolutely gorgeous here. So the climate is a big plus of living here and that's a big positive. Um, other people who live in a lot hotter climates might say something different, but coming from Canada, I love the climate here and I think that it is perfect. I feel like just things seem a little bit fresher here, that people just eat a little bit fresher here. And it's just easier to do that. I know that back in Toronto, you can definitely find all that fresh stuff. Um, but I feel like the access to it is just, there's more access to it here. Um, everybody knows somebody that sells something, fresh olive oil, fresh eggs, um, meat from local farmers. I just feel like it's a little bit easier to access all of that very fresh stuff. We bought everything from the grocery store when we lived in Toronto. We didn't buy anything right from the producer. And I feel like here it's easy to buy things right from the producer. And I feel like that's when you get the freshest stuff and that's when you get the best stuff. And so I appreciate that about living here. It definitely adds to the quality of life when you can just access all this very, very fresh stuff right from the people who make it or harvest it. And so that's a big plus for sure. This also adds to the quality of life and work-life balance. Um, I feel like people just make more time for going for coffee with their friends to catch up. Um, and I feel like making plans is just much easier for some reason here than it ever was back home. Um, things back home, if you wanted to go for a coffee with a friend, I feel like you have to schedule it so far in advance. And here, it's just always kind of like a last minute thing. Are you free tomorrow? Let's go for coffee at five. It just is, it's easier to just text someone or call someone the night before and say, let's go for coffee tomorrow. And then you'll go for coffee the next day. And I feel like back home, everything is just has to be so much more planned because people are living further apart. The cities are bigger. Um, and so it just feels like it's more, um, it just feels like it's, it feels like it's just that much more effort to get somewhere, to make a plan, to go somewhere because everything is further. People have less time. And here I feel everything is a bit closer. People have a little more time. And so it's easy just to pop over to a local cafe, meet your friend for a quick coffee, do a quick catch up, and then that's it. And so it's just not as, as big of an event, I guess. And that is another amazing thing about living here. I feel like generally the mentality here in Croatia is just a little bit more relaxed and a little bit less stressed than it is back in North America and that's something that I really like. I feel like the pace is just a little bit slower um, and so I appreciate that kind of just a little bit of a slower pace here where everyone's not rushed and stressed to go everywhere, to get everywhere, to do everything. So those are my reasons for loving living here, why I think the quality of life is just a little bit better here and why we continue to choose to live here over living in Canada.